Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to show you guys some equipment that I'm going to be bringing with me um, on my camping trip. Um, still not sure where I'm going, but um, just wanted to show you guys some of the goodies. Um, Stanley makes this little cooker, cool handle. Um, it's got a little steam valve and then a strainer. And it has two cups inside. There's that. Um, I wanted a zebra billy can but could not find one so I ended up getting an aluminum nine cup percolator. Um, so, you know, obviously it's going to boil nine cups of water, which is, you know, pretty cool. Uh, and I can still make coffee in it if I feel like it. Um, I got the Alpine Stowaway pot, which is really cool. It's uh, MSR Seagull. Obviously this becomes your handle. Lid made really good. Um, this is the um, Light My Fire meal kit. Um, it's pretty much uh, like a shallow eating dish and a deeper eating dish. Uh, skimmer. Uh, fork, knife, and spoon. And inside is a little cup. And inside the little cup, um, if you're bringing your uh, grandma or something like that with you, she can put her um, false teeth in here at night. That's, that's what I'm thinking this is for. Um, <laughs> um, otherwise, it's, it must be for maybe leftovers or like a measuring cup. I don't know. But cool cup. Put that there. It's over here. Over there. Okay. This is the Coleman Max cooking kit. It's a noisy little bugger, but it is actually um, a nesting little kit. Um, you get a small, and then I don't know if it's supposed to be a large or what, but um, we'll call it medium. Small and medium. Um, you can use this as a cup, or I suppose you could poach an egg or something in there, but it also works as a lid for both the pots um, and um, what else was I going to say about these um, probably the you know opens like that um, got the measurements on it um, I've used this I really really like it and, um, boy, that Made in China sticker, it just wouldn't come off even over the fire. <laughs> um, because this is a cool kit. Um, like I said, it's noisy. But, you know, all these things can, um, can be used, um, for storage containers, obviously. I can put, you know, my dried soups and things like that in here, and, um, seasonings, salt, pepper, that kind of good stuff, and, um, that's about it, um, and I know this is, this is overkill for just one person, but, um, 
some of this stuff is brand new. I have not used it yet, and it needs to get field tested, so it's coming with me. Um, probably add, I have a couple more of these that are a lot smaller, so I'll probably throw in a couple more of those, and that is it. Um, if I think of something else, um, I know I have a nonstick frying pan. I don't know if I'm going to bring that or not. Um, but if I do, I'll show it. So, peace! I also want to um, give my good friend um, Phoenix Prepper a shout out because she watched my other uh, video on uh, food that I'm going to be taking camping with me. And she enlightened me. Um, she told me that, um, like the Nor um, pasta and rice dishes, and um, like the foil pouched um, tuna and chicken and, and crumbled meat that's already cooked and things like that, um, would be a really good idea to bring with me camping. And I have no idea why I did not think of that. Thank you so much, Phoenix. You're awesome. Um, not only is it way cheaper than the Mountain House dinners, um, they probably taste a whole lot better. Um, I know Mountain House is a good brand, and they do make good stuff. And it obviously lasts a lot longer. But for just a camping trip, the, you know, the, the Lipton cups of soup and the top ramen and things like that are going to be the bomb. So thank you once again, Phoenix. You rock. Kiss your little Chiquita banana for me. Peace.